Hi students, this is 4th grade Ready Classroom Mathematics, Lesson 16. We are going to be working on Session 1 today. In your books on page 327 and 328, that is a parent letter for you to look over with your parents to learn more about what we're going to be um, studying this week. If you will go ahead and turn to page 329, we are going to learn about finding perimeter. Um, perimeter is something you should have learned about in third grade. It is um, the length of all the sides around a shape. You also learned about area, and it's the length times width. The formula for perimeter would be P plus P plus P plus P. I put the P there to represent each side. So you could also even do S plus S plus S plus S. Or in fourth grade, we began learning about formulas to solve this. So you could do 4 times S to get your perimeter of your shape. So 4 times S equals perimeter. So 4 times one side equals perimeter. If it's a square, if it's another shape like a rectangle, then you would do two times the first side plus two times the second side. So side one and side two, and that would equal your perimeter. Or one last formula would be two times side plus side. So side one plus side two. So that's three different um, formulas for how to solve perimeter that we'll be using in fourth grade. But let's go ahead and take a look at our problem for today. Marissa uses 64 feet of fence to make a border around a rectangular flower garden. The length of the garden is 20 feet. What is the width of the garden? Okay, so I'm always going to draw a model when I'm working with area and perimeter. It says that the length is 20 feet. So if this side is 20 feet, I also know that this side is 20 feet. And it says that she uses 64 feet total to make her border. So I'm going to subtract this. Then I'm going to subtract this side. Which leaves 24 feet left over, but I'm not done because I have to take this and do it between two different sides. So the way I do that is 24 divided by 2, and then I can get my answer for the length of one side because it only asks what is the width of the garden. So it's only wanting to know about one. Well, 24 divided by 2 is 12. So my answer here is going to be 12 feet. Okay, let's go ahead and go on to page 330. All right, on page 330, it says, look back, explain how you can find the width of the garden. Well, what we did is we took... Um, we took the 46 feet, or I'm sorry, 64 feet of fence, and we subtracted 40 feet for the length. The 24 feet left, we divided by 2. Right, so right here it says, you can find the perimeter or distance around a shape in different ways. Complete the addition equation to find the perimeter of the rectangle. 
So we're looking at this rectangle right here. So we're going to, let's start at the bottom. So 10 yards, 5 yards, 10 yards, 5 yards. So we went all the way around and we're going to add those together. So the perimeter is 10 plus 10 is 20 plus 20 makes 25, 30 yards. Now in the beginning, what I was showing you was some different types of formulas. The perimeter is a formula at the, that uses multiplication and addition to find the perimeter. So over here, our perimeter equals 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. So if we do 2 times the length of 10 yards, plus 2 times the width of 5 yards, then we have 2 times 10, which is 20, and 2 times 5, which is 10. And now we have, or we could do it this way, 2 times length plus width, which is another way I showed you. If we add these two together, we still get 30 yards. So this is, this is three different ways to solve for perimeter. This is your first way that you learned in third grade. And this is your second way, which is a fourth grade version. And a third way, which is also a fourth grade version. So when you go to complete area and perimeter problems in math in fourth grade, you are going to be expected to solve them in one of these two ways. But we show you this first way so you know how it relates to these two ways right here. So here's our third way. 2 times the length plus width. So 2 times the length, and the length was 10, plus the width, and the width was 5. So 10 plus 5 is 15. So then we do 2 times 15, which still makes the perimeter 30 yards. Now at the bottom, a formula for perimeter of a square with the side length of s is p equals 4s. Explain why this formula works. Well, it works because the four sides of a square are all the same length. So if we have a square and it's 5, 5, 5, 5, we could do 4 times 5 equals 20 to get the perimeter. Or we can add 5, 10, 15, 20 and still get the perimeter. Let's go ahead and move on to page 331. Okay, page 331. Our word that we're learning is length. And in my own words, length is a measurement that tells how long something is. So if I have a shape here, this is the length. Width is a measure that tells how wide something is. So this is the width. And print the perimeter is the distance around a shape. There we go. All right, on number two, it says find, complete the addition equation to find the perimeter of the rectangle. So I'm going to start with the bottom. 10, 2, 
10, 2. So 10 plus 10 is 20, plus 2 more is 22, plus 2 more is 24 yards. Let's move on to page 332. Khan uses 76 feet of fence to make a rectangular pen for his pet, Rabbit. The length of the pen is 25 feet. What is the width of the pen? Of the rectangular pen. Okay, so we've got 78 feet of fence, and the length is 25 feet. Okay, so I'm going to draw my picture. If this is 25 feet, that means this has to be 25 feet. If I have 78 feet total, that means that I have to subtract these two sides first. I can subtract them one at a time, or I can add these two together and then subtract. I'm going to add them together. So I'm going to do minus 50 feet, which leaves 28 feet, but I'm not done because this 28 feet is for both of these sides of this rectangle. So if I do 28 divided by 2, that is how I'm going to get my answer, and I can see that 28 divided by 2 is 14, so that means this is 14, and that is 14. And the question is, what is the width of the rectangular pen? Well, it is 14 feet. That is it for lesson one. I will see you back for lesson two.